This is more about living during the coronavirus epidemic. Here's another bromide I'm sick of hearing. Mental illness is when you keep doing the same thing and expect different results. I disagree. Check out the myth of Sisyphus or the end of the movie Tin Cup. I see people doing this all the time and I don't think they're insane. When you do something and it doesn't work, do you quit or do you try again? Try harder maybe. And again, thinking third time is the charm. Or maybe we're all mentally ill. It is the year zero CE. The election is over and I'm still alive. Cities are not burning. The panhandler can take the bike racks down. There is, as yet, no result, as about eight states are being counted. The bias leans heavily to the pander man. Late in the night, the trumpet claimed victory and said, no more votes should be counted. That let every dummy crap politician, including the pander man, seize the opportunity to say in ringing cheers, no one person is going to decide this election. The election will be decided by the American people. Most experts say there will be recounts and lawsuits and no decision for weeks. It looks like the trumpet is only delaying the inevitable, but maybe he can find a way to scheme his way to victory. Then, I'm sure, there would be protests and rioting all over the nation. Would that stop him? No, never. Meanwhile, the COVID numbers are through the roof. 4,000 people a day in my state. By the way, the polls were all wrong. Did they affect the outcome? That seems likely, but it is hard to construct an argument as to exactly how. Did they have an agenda supporting the pander man over the trumpet? Whether they are guilty of fraud or not, I think it's clear that they have outlived their usefulness. They're not science, they're just models, and we've seen how wrong they can be. That doesn't mean they'll disappear. We have lots of useless things cluttering up our lives, especially when it comes to politics, an aspect of life that may be entirely useless. And that makes the pander man the perfect one to lead us. He is the commander in chief of uselessness. Anyone who used Occam's razor on the election would have come up with the right result. The pander man wins a squeaker and the trumpet refuses to accept that outcome. That was the most likely finish, I think. The pander man says that victory is in sight. The people will decide, be patient. The trumpet is unleashing thunderbolts, challenges, demanding recounts, lawsuits blocking further ballot counts, contesting everything he can. People who claim to know about these things say it could take weeks, possibly even months, before a winner can be declared. The pander man very proudly proclaims that he collected more votes for president than any candidate in history. Slowly, he's gaining enough to win. The trumpet continues to file lawsuits, but the outcome seems clear. The pander man is going to win. There are many conspiracy theories already flying about. The pander man was only a front. The dummy craps are going to get rid of him and install Shamala Scaris as the president. And then all of her progressive pals will join the party. I think it's important to remember that the trumpet brought this on himself. He created such a tidal reserve of toxic animosity that those who opposed him were absolutely determined that he was going to lose. There was no other possible outcome. 
They got enough independents and a few Republicans to join the ranks of the Trump haters, and they made it their crusade. Dump Trump. It really didn't matter who their candidate was. No, just no controversy. A cipher. Hey, perfect. The pander man. The consummate politician. Fifty years in office. Joe, you're the reason I ran, said the trumpet. And in he charged. But in the end, at least this end, the swamp won. Meanwhile, the field mouse sounds like a funeral director. The numbers are skyrocketing. Every county in the state is red. You can't run. You can't hide, he said. We've got to face this. But wait, running and hiding, that was your strategy. Social distance and the mask. Run and hide. Now you tell us to face the virus. Won't we all get sick? We will wait for the pander man. He said he could beat it. That's it. The pander man will save us. If he can ever get elected. 